Ladies and gentlemen, please put that together for your next comic, Dan G. Dan G. I'm really pleased to follow somebody doing impersonations because that was what I had planned. Thanks a lot. That's okay. I'll do my act anyway. <laughs> Tonight on the E! True Hollywood Story, they were among children's favorite entertainers. But behind the scenes was a scandal that was rated anything but G. Oh yeah, Doc. I remember lots of drugs being done by cartoons in Hollywood back in the day. In fact, Goofy used to have these incredible parties. We take you now through reenactment to one of the fabulous parties at Goofy's Bel Air Mansion. Parties rife with marijuana. The Hill. The Hill. The Hill. Gosh, I'm stoned. I don't know about the rest of you, but I could go for a picnic basket right about now. Well, blow me down. This gets better than spinach. But marijuana was not the only substance being abused in Hollywood's cartoon community. <laughs> Walt? <laughs> just, just one line, Walt. <laughs> I just need one line, Walt. <laughs> I can't act without a line. Come on, Walt. I'm chasing the dragon. Hooray. <laughs> Next time on the E! True Hollywood Story, a sex scandal that rocked Tinseltown to its very core. Moi just happens to be attracted to amphibians. Does Vu have a problem with that? Oh, piggy. That's next time on the E! True Hollywood Story. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of new to Hollywood. I moved here just a few months ago. I moved here uh, to start my modeling career. For some reason, that didn't take oh. off. I'm not sure why, so I uh, decided to do comedy instead. And, I guess that's not taken off either, so I'm going to be moving away from Hollywood pretty soon, I think. But I'm glad I'm here because I love movies. I'm a big movie buff. Um, one thing, though, I don't like about movies is product placement. And I know they say it's necessary, we have to do product placement to pay for the movie. And I understand that. But what pisses me off is they're now going back to classic movies and inserting digitally product placement into those. And I'll give you a few examples. For instance, this is a science fiction classic. I'm sure you all remember. Luke, join the dark side tonight on CNN. <laughs> Lots of films are they're doing it too. For instance, the Martin Scorsese classic Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Because there's nobody else here. Are you talking to me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> they're even doing it to some of the classic Golden Age. Thank you. They're even doing it to some of the classic Golden Age Hollywood films. And here's a Christmas classic. Murray! Murray! It's me! It's me, Murray! It's George! Don't you know me, Murray? Because uh, if you don't, maybe you need one of these. It's a Palm Pilot. You can get it for $129.99 at Staples. They're doing it to all kinds of things. Great action movies. So, Goldfinger, you expect me to talk. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. But before you do, please sign this. It's a policy from Mutual of Omaha. Even one of my favorite films of all time, classic universal horror film. Vine? I never drink vine. But I do drink this. Smear not ice. Remember, kids, please drink responsibly. They're just doing it to a lot of films. It's really pissing me off. Um, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm just looking at me. I watch a lot of TV. Um, love uh, nature shows, stuff like that. Crocodile Hunter. Uh, I don't know if anybody still watches that show but me. But what I love is that they've got about eight other crazy Australian guys now. I, it's like this weird thing that they propagated. They decided one crazy Australian guy wasn't enough. But what I really am waiting for, because they're already doing just insane things, is uh, that I'm just waiting for one of them to totally snap. Totally, because they're already, you know, putting their head in the crocodile's mouth or sticking their hand up the lion's ass, whatever. And so I'm just waiting for this moment. Oh, look at this. Look at this here. This is the beautiful blue speckled North Australian wombat. This is one of the rarest and most endangered animals I've ever seen. Let's see what happens when we throw it in the fire. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, and look at it burn. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> that is one of the most beautiful sites. We need to protect our animals. They are so important to us. I think that's my time, so thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Santee, ladies and gentlemen.